Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. It's Mystical Machine Gun. We're back with more Middle Gear Acid. And last time, last time we were. Well, we lost, really. <laughs> Mission two could have got a lot better. Following is a briefing on extra mission. Once you've completed the mission after the office, selecting the same map again will unlock an extra mission. Completing the assigned mission objectives will earn you extra points. Extra missions can be played as many times as you wish. Use them to your advantage. Sure. This concludes the briefing on extra mission. Okay. So last time, yeah, mission two, we kind of sucked at it. And <laughs> we failed. And the game crashed. So really went well really went well um <laughs> so my first thought was we should edit the deck ourselves so we've got the total of 30. see <laughs> So all oh, okay. So all we oh, the only thing we've left out is one strand adds one cost for each hit attaches to weapon and one scope. I, I could not figure out how to use Vulcan Ra Raven. Like I I don't know how it works. So <laughs> sorry, Vulcan, you're out. We'll get the extra strand in. Okay. And I think I think I know what went wrong. I think it was I think it was that we got to that level two door, but we were in a box. In a box. So being in a box means that we didn't maybe get some dialogue we should have gotten. Not sure. Okay, we can skip the dialogue. We're trying to find Gary. Try to keep an eye on where we should go. We know the layout now, so we won't be surprised by that robot coming to kick our butts. I'm, I'm just going to be trying to be a bit uh, more cognizant of how many points we're using and all that fun stuff. So. Maybe I don't need to start trying to get the extra stuff yet. Not sure. Half the trick is making sure you can get to where you want to go with your current amount of move. So that camera shouldn't be able to see us. Oh, don't turn. <laughs> We got two SOCOMs, let's use a, one of them to go over here. Uh, none of these will give us an extra. Okay. Should 
should be able to pop out and shoot that guy next turn. Where I went wrong like the first time around. went wrong the first time around was I didn't know how the cameras quite worked. So we'll punch this guy this turn. I know that it's how these kind of card systems work, but why does shooting him not end his turn? <laughs> why is that not enough? There we go, now he's down, surely. Do you have zero health left? What? Oh my god. Right, there we go. <laughs> so I might end my turn here. Simply to help move better next turn. Okay, they're on their way. Ah, good. Really, these bloody grenades, they're expensive. Oh, he spotted me. Nuts. <laughs> I wonder if I could have crawled under there. Getting spotted is bad though. Very bad. There we go, there's your alert. Okay. Doors, the doors being a turn. Oh, it kills me. So it reminds me of Hero Quest. Hey, you'd have to go to a door, end your turn, and then you could only open the like you could open the door on your turn, but then you'd have to wait another turn to. Uh... So now they're coming this way. Hi, how you doing? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> would place it there for the next turn, but obviously not. Oh, so you can crawl under there. There you go. Can the guards crawl? There's a question for you. We have to come around. Going that way, clever. Clever boy. We got to be a guard looking right at us. There he is. <laughs> oh, 
Of course. <laughs> Tactics that guy is using. Okay. Okay, interesting choice. Ah, nuts. <laughs> Good thing we got body armor. Oh, we're gonna get bloody pincer movement here. Oh, he's guarding the door. Now that other guy can't see us, so we use this to move. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, let me go back. <sighs> Move the camera around at least. There you go. Oop. This guy's just gonna. Oh, okay. Interesting. They've just got so much more. They've got heaps of move. All their, all their points are put into move. <laughs> now he's back and he's not going to shoot us, okay? I can't believe we we're facing the wrong way. Okay. Can't even punch because we have to move. That did kill him, there you go. But our other friend's not going to be happy with that. <laughs> Iron Man Snake. Kept you missing, huh? Why does he get to attack twice? Oh my god, we're doing so well. How many attacks does this guy get? You have to go here and punch. Then punch him again. Oh, come on, Snake. Where was your dodge move? And we get three stars of faint straight away. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to put up like a death I'm gonna have to put up a death counter. On the plus guy side, that guy just trapped himself there with that grenade for a little while. Wait, 
Where did get? Oh, see, they get up straight away. Like we shoot them with the SOCOM, and they just get up like nothing. And we have been knocked down for two turns, and now we're dead. I'm good at this. <laughs> Following is a, a tutorial on quick mode. Pressing the triangle button when it's not the player's turn activates quick mode. In this mode, the enemy moves at an accelerated pace. By continuing to hold down the triangle button, you can skip to your next turn. Use it at your discretion. This concludes the briefing on quick mode. Sure. Maybe we should not worry about MGS1 extra packs and just go. It's a waste to waste to move getting one 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 step closer. Where does he end up? That's the question. Is a million dollar question. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot to crawl. Oh, typical. needs to stand okay <laughs> but was up okay so some boxes under there okay that was the only only square where we could do that but haven't been spotted yet Like that cells there just in case. Oh Okay, cameras on a straight line. I That was a good start. But let's just try that again. Take it from the top. Following is a briefing on weapon card attributes. Attack. Attack power per hit. Hit. Charge fitting target. Ammo. Millimeter. Millime uh, caliber. X max shots. Re chance of counter. Hit percentage decreases at. 
Distance at which hit begins to decrease. The actual overall damage dealt equals attack times number of hits. The number of hits equals number of shots times hits. This concludes the briefing on weapon card attributes. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a go. We got off to a good start. We hadn't been spotted yet. I wonder if we... Ah, okay. So maybe the way... A good way to go would be actually to get the MGS card and then crawl. Rather than just doing this, but... Okay. Because at least then we're moving every turn more. I know, I understand why it's a mechanic, but oh, it frustrates me when when you just can't walk through a door. <laughs> you have to have a separate turn for it. Hey, we're doing stealth. We're being we're being snake. Fast. <laughs> okay. Here's the next problem. <laughs> I need a, I need a gun. He should be blind to his side. He should still not see us. So now we've got a gun, but what we can do is punch. See, he's out very temporarily. Ah. Shit. Let's flatten ourselves here. That seems like a good plan. He's got to call for help in a second, but shouldn't get noticed just yet. Of course, we can't see what he's doing, but oh well. It's the luck of the draw because, ah, oh, there we go. Okay. He doesn't seem too fast because he couldn't see us anymore. I mean, this is the only way in here is to get spotted. Oh, he's facing the other way. Oh, there you go. Got to use that action plus one when we get it. Don't look at us. Don't look at us. Even better. Okay. How do we change our equipment? <laughs> I want to take the box off.
They'll never know. They'll never know it's us. Oh man, he just wants to he just wants that bloody those cards for himself. How do I get rid of this box? <laughs> uh, there's no... How do I get out of the box game? You tutorialize everything. How do I get out of the box? in sure it looks tempting to go into the vents or is it just a hiding spot it may just be a hiding spot okay oh now we know Friends coming back. Forty nine percent. that okay they get up so fast punching works way better nine percent now worth a try <laughs> oh i meant to move whoops oh oh okay because <laughs> i popped out he doesn't care Oh, no, but he's coming back anyway. I think I'm just going to have to walk up to him and punch the shit out of him. Oh, no, never mind. Now he's on the case. Gotta get off the wall. Then punch him. Then move. Okay. Still better. We're doing better. May not look like it, but we're doing better. As long as somebody doesn't walk through the target door, we'll be fine. All right, boys. Okay. I'm just going to listen to this cutscene again. Wait, snake. What is it? Darius to your north. And you know that. What if I said my sixth sense? If you go to the west side and turn the corner, okay, you'll see an entrance. That's your way in. Snake, please listen to her. Go to the west side. Okay, so the east side is a... We don't need to go to the east side. No, Snake, we actually want you to go to the left. No, not use, move, okay. That's north, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, 
because we're in caution mode, he's coming for us. Should be good if I stay under the camera. Is that the plan? Yes. Okay, great. Where's that robot thing? Can't see it yet. Okay. So it's invisible until you get it. Okay. Snake, it's a patrol bot. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Long to the own unit now. Yes, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. The worst thing with this is it's hard to tell which way it's bloody looking. Okay, it's definitely looking in this direction at the moment. So we will stay still. I get in the box this time because the box doesn't help us the box is our enemy okay what happens if we're here and we're out of the box nothing Why are we getting a call or anything? find the key like is that the thing like and they're just assuming we know that is that the problem how do you get key cards in this game i don't know Going the other way. Oh, thank God. Is this door where we needed to go? Is that all I was missing? Ah, oh, hello. Right. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Yeah, let's try and get the cards. Why not? All depends on what this guy wants to do on his turn. We won't knock. Knocking seems to be a bit useless. It 
See, I thought that area there, here, I thought that was where the robot was. That's what the confusion was for me last time. I mean, we can wait out this guy to see where he goes. Ah, turn, turn some other way. Then we can use barrel. I mean, this is a. Is he just standing there? God. Really? Okay. He's getting a punching. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, even worse. Do we shoot him or do we punch him? What do you think? Uh, point blank, we should be right. Great. Stealth kill. Our stealth skills. Our skills continue to be impeccable. Oh, do we have to stop on that bloody tile? Pick it up. Fuck. <laughs> I've got to remember to put these guys in fast forward. Forward, please go guards go guards go guards go 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 an actual movement card get out of here is there any guards up here i'm not seeing any i mean we would see them move if they if we did we going through that door? We're going through that door, I think. Oh. Hello? What's all this about? Cutscene. Where the hell did he go? Come on, Snake. You're the stealth master. Go. Go. Please put. Go. Shut up, damn it. Just stop talking. Oh, shoot. You must be Gary Murray. Huh? I just talked to you on the codec. Oh, so you're the American. Thank you. Looks like you're injured. Can you stand? Yeah, I'm fine. He's got lots of blood on him. Hello. Who's this? Is that friend from the intro? Gary, looking a bit dark on the old eyes there, buddy. You know where Fleming is located? Yes, I do. I just happened to see where Dr. Fleming was taken during my escape. Those terrorists forced lab workers into boats 
and sent them off to a nearby island. They were being treated like prisoners. Then, after U.S. soldiers came and attacked, the terrorists just went nuts. I managed to slip past them and tried to make my way to far, but one of the guards caught sight of me. I thought it was all over. Somehow I managed to make it here without getting killed. What's fart? It's a research building in the northernmost part of the plant where Dr. Fleming would receive instructions. Only the doctor's closest advisors were granted access to that place. Everyone called it FAR, an acronym for Fleming's Assembly Room. They were also paranoid. Intellectuals can be a little extreme, like my hat. Where was Fleming taken? The residential quarters located to the east. Lab workers were living in that building. Dr. Fleming. I'm only an underling, so I never actually met the doc. That's a bit weird line. But I could hear him yelling, I'm Fleming. What the hell are you doing? It had to be him. There's no doubt in my mind. Residential quarters to the east, huh? Snake, you better get over there on the double. Right. Gary, stay right here if you want to survive. I'll come get you when my mission is over. Please hurry. Escape through the east exit, so through the guards, and head for the residential quarters. So that door will do nothing for us, I'm guessing. only that one guy who's on the hunt for us so if he comes to us we can just take him out or perhaps avoid him understand some of the mechanics to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Must be a bit dense about card games. can't go back you have to commit you have to cancel the move it's a bit of a weird system that guy's actually come in handy because I can now see the robot oh but they're covering each other Ah, oh, my extra moves worn off. Right, well, so much for avoiding them. <laughs> well, oh, good shooting, Snake. Here's a plan. Let him come to us. If he stays right there, we've got enough moves. Punch him on the next turn, but the robot is alerted. God, Snake, your Kung Fu is no good. Have a 
face off, why not? Might be a bit stuffed here. Might have to beat a retreat. Oh no! Because I don't think I'll be able to walk past the robot. If I go move, yeah, I can't. Okay. Better run away. <laughs> Maybe we can go through that other door and kind of buy some time, perhaps? Not sure. Oh, he healed. Tough boy. Got the expert man there. evasion go down when you have it in fast forward as well. Oh, is this just going to get me to the level two door and then say, bad luck, buddy. At least the caution's over. Ah, nothing. Okay. Yeah, let's have four actions and have not enough cards and two cards. Oh. I was hoping maybe Gary would give us a level two card, but it's just like, no, nah, I guess maybe you come back with your level two card and not sure. But hey, we're still doing way better than last week. We're, we're progressing. Trying to see if I can just build up some cards. If we draw, if we're only drawing two a turn. Then let's draw one a turn and build up a hand. We've already spent 20 million turns. We're not going to get a high ranking for this one. Uh, oh, I keep hearing to fast forward these guys. It's a shame you can't just skip them all together. And then they just move to where they are without you having to watch them. But, oh well. What have we got? Is he facing us? No. So let's not face him. No point knocking. I 
Hopefully we get some some weapons to cut through these guys. Hey, which way is a robot facing? It's facing that way. Okay. Can we punch it? No, I'm joking. Now, the way this has been working, he should be blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully he just moves that way. Ah, no, just end the turn. Now, we've got enough move that we can walk out this door. Yes, awesome. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Right, we shouldn't have to deal with that robot anymore, hopefully. Let's save our weapons, because we're gonna need them. Ah, oh, I should probably equip that card. Oh well, we'll stick to guns for now. Guaranteed kill. All right, that's good. That's good. His buddy's going to be a bit annoyed in a second, though. That's all right. He can come on down. Oh, no, don't call for help. Confront me. Come fight me here. Oh, he's called for help and he's running away. What a wuss. Okay. Could just wait three seconds. <laughs> ah, it's going to stop there. <laughs> Hi. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Deck, for giving me another Famous. Eat it. <laughs> Fingers crossed, nobody wanders through that door. Oops. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yes, mission two. That took a long time. 477 costs. Found seven times. Killed four times. Total damage 35. C rank. Certainly wasn't speedy. Ooh, revolver ocelot. Equip to use. Evade attacks from all directions. Reaction 50%. Cool. Gunplay. Sets cost for all gun attacks by user to two. 
While in effect, user cannot execute CQC attacks. Effect lasts for 20 costs. A member of the newly reformed Foxhound, a former Spetsnaz commando. His weapon of choice is a single action army. Also, a specialist in torture. Just a minor note there. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Body armor, reduces total damage by 50. Endure, reduces damage by five, one time only. That sounds very situational. And another scope. And we got no bonus. Next up on the menu, residential quarters. I'm going to eat some people. Lena, the pilot and co-pilot, Dave. The door to the cockpit was open. Are they really dead? Yes, but how did you... Some strange dolls came up to me. Did you say... Dolls? Seems we're on autopilot, so we probably won't crash. Yeah, probably. That's a... <laughs> that's a good vibe. People at the control tower should have cleared the air lanes for us so we can fly a relatively safe path. But, I mean, come on. Dolls can't kill people. People kill people. That kid must be wandering around on a plane. That can't be. Number 16? On this plane? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, is that fair, sis? What? You were playing just like I thought. You were killing people. I want to kill people too. I want to make their heart stop and all that. You know what, Elsie? I killed the pilot and co-pilot to get some messages across. Messages across? Is that a fun game too? The first two messages are 1 and 14. Do you want to know who we really are, Elsie? I'll tell you. I know who I am. I'm Elsie. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Leader, contact the White House. Explain the situation to the best of your ability and get them to catch that, that monster sneaking around in the shadows. Yes, sir. What's wrong, Lena? You look pale. We're on a gas-filled plane with a bomb on it, and we're going to die. When I found corpses in the cockpit, I gasped with the shock. I could have sworn I smelled gas. Don't overdo it now. Take a little breather. <laughs> new weapons, new items. We'll support you with a variety we're proud of. MGS one pack. Stun grenades to knock enemies unconscious, and a cardboard box to fool their eyes. Check out the card shop during intermission. Card shop at it. Okay. Now for a briefing on the card shop. From here on, you'll be able to use the points you gain from completing a mission to buy new packs. Well, that's good because I'm rubbish at getting them. There are three cards in each pack. You currently have 4,200 points. New packs are added each time you complete a mission. At present, the MGS1 pack is available for purchase. Use it to your advantage. This concludes the briefing on the card shop menu. Okay, cool. Save. Should we buy another pack? Why not? Oh, yeah. I can't. Scientist attaches to weapon. Equip type only. Adds anti armor effect. Effect lasts until equipped weapon is used once or until next turn. Al Emmerich, the chief developer of Arms Tech Core's Metal Gear project, loves Japanimation, nicknamed Otacon. After the Shadow Moses incident, he joined the anti-Metal Gear group Philanthropy. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> uh, that's a good line. Okay, we got Ocelot again. Awesome. So we got two Ocelots. Now, can we... Uh, let's do auto. Okay, 
so what do we got? So we packed the SOCOM, the Famous, Grenade, Claymore, Strand. I've got to figure out how to use these ones. Like, so Meryl, you just use her. But the ones that are equipped with a weapon, I don't have a weapon equipped. So like Vulcan Raven attaches to weapon, equip type only. Is there... I might have to look that up at some point. Handy dandy first aid kit. Okay. Do do do. Okay. Let's go. Mission three. Ruins. Okay. Oh no, 3A. <laughs> Is that a good sign? Going straight along this path to the east should get you to the residential quarters. Get moving, Snake. There's no time to waste. Got it. Head east for the residential quarters. Mission start. Okay. <laughs> okay, Otacon, we drew him straight away. Let's try and look ahead a bit. Oh, okay. Should we get up there yet? Move. See, these obviously aren't equipped type weapons. So, yeah. Oh, let's go upstairs. Are there any guards? Oh, there's one. Ah, okay. What is that? Is that a rocket launcher or something? Oh, he's going to be able to see us. Surely. Cannot equip, yeah. <laughs> You'll surely be able to see us. Oh, and there's a camera there. Uh, let's go... Yeah. Okay, hang on. Calm down, camera. Okay, hang on. Roger, you said the residential quarters were on this road, right? According to intelligence, they should be at the end of this road, to the east. But there's no road. What? The road's been blocked off of the wall. Looks like the enemy got here first. Look around and see if you can find any way through. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay. Main thing I want to do is get here. So hopefully that guard doesn't see us. Oh, okay, there's another guard there. <laughs> That's bad. Oh my god, there's guards everywhere. Okay, looks like we need to get over to that. I'm guessing we have to get over there, use that rocket launcher sorry th there's too much shit in the way in this map there you go spotted everybody can see me okay Maybe going around the outside was a better plan.
Oi. You know, Kenny's a call for help. That's fair enough. You know what time it is. Oh, he's still alive. Nuts. Okay. Yeah, we're invisible. He can't see us. One more punch should probably take care of him, though. He's going to attack us, so... No, he's still trying to call for help. Okay. Okay, so if I just punch... Oh yeah, Fist of Death. If we crawl, does that make us a smaller target? I don't know. Is the path I'm on going to actually take me anywhere? That's another question too. So that's a used card. Okay, so we can equip this one. Use this one to move. Okay, no, we can't go that way. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so this, this staircase was a red herring. Yep, they spotted me enough times. That guy's pathfinder can use some work. Oh dear. Okay, no guns. Just have to go the punching route. Fight. It's too tough. Let's see what happens now. I think I the camera at least. <laughs> oh, right. He's right back for it. Oh, because it's fast forward mode, of course. Ah, oh, I used up all my guns. Used up all my guns too early. Come on. Oh, stay down, boy. See some guns. Just needs me some bloody guns. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Snake. Bulletproof. Ah, oh, this bloody bullshit. Just keep punching him. Just beat him to death. So this is why I didn't want Vulcan Raven in my friggin' party. In my deck. Because he... I can't use him, and he's... Cost eight.
Hey, buddy. Where did you come from? Real nice game. Spawn an enemy in front of me. I don't understand why it go rotates through them and they sometimes get two turns. It's it's probably me not understanding the cost mechanic. Out of the map. <laughs> okay, the evade didn't kick in. Oh, there we go. My plan for this is simply to shoot him and run away. Seventy-five percent. That should be plenty. There we go. And so, if I do this, they should get less turns than me now. Oh my god! Whoa. Okay. Is that just a yeah? It's a bad camera angle. Okay. navigate this fucking map. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's restart the map. <laughs> let's restart the map. Short, uh, okay, on deck. Decks put together on the deck editor menu are shuffled and used in missions. As cards are played from the hand or removed from equipment, they are discarded. Once all cards in a deck have been used, the deck is automatically reshuffled. Shuffling the deck takes 10 cost. Thus, 10 cost is added to the owner of the deck. Always keep an eye on the cards left in your deck during the mission. This concludes the briefing on deck. Speaking of the deck editor, Vulcan, you're out. You are out. Uh. Strand, you are in. Okay. Should just buy more cards. Ooh. Ooh, that's like a good noise. Allies life plus 100. HF Blade, attack 50 to target of choice. Cyborg Ninja, his identity and motives are unknown. Equip a stealth camouflage and a reinforced exoskeleton. The high frequency blade he wields can cut through a steel beam. I will kill you or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Cool. Back we go. That's going in the deck for sure. look at it here for it not to be marked as new uh 31 we don't need two of ocelot okay let's try this again do we just need to throw a grenade at the ball is that what we need to do
Yes. Can we skip this, please? Nope, we can't skip it, apparently. <laughs> Does that leave me standing there? Oh, it fucked game. I move there. Okay. Use. Okay. Is that in front of the wall? Yep. Okay, that did nothing to the wall. Can I just step over this little bit of wall or what? I don't understand what I need to do. in this map I cannot fucking see what's going on it's half the problem Where do I, seriously, where do I go? I don't understand how to use this thing. <laughs> it sucks. I don't know where the game wants me to go. I really don't know.
Why can't I punch him? Oh, whatever. I have to push that barrel or something. Okay, I don't know how to use claymores. They seem to be completely useless. Real stuck feeling. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now what? To look this up. While Snake hides out, let's just check something for a sec. Inception. when you can look up an LP. What? Uh. Okay. Okay, so... Don't waste your time trying to make your way through this maze. Head straight past the first staircase and hang a right. 
Roger will contact you on the codec. It appears the road is blocked. Fuck off, man. Approach the cracked wall, and you'll be told you need to get C4. Get fucked. <laughs> Just muck about a bit here quickly. Okay. Okay. I can't believe that. I really can't. That drives me a bit crazy. <laughs> Oh, what a waste of resources. Oh, well. Oh, hang on. Let me turn the sound back on. That might help. Okay, so we want to go... We don't want to do that. We want to move. We want to move here. Have a phone call. Leave that shit. Why do you have to walk right up to it to do that? In a game with bloody turn-based movement. It's no use. The path is blocked. Looks like it's just been repaired. The wall surface is smooth as glass. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Can't even climb it. I see. But I can't do anything with the equipment I have here. There's a building to the west of the office, which is probably the path we took before. It's an armory. I'm sure of it. Armory? You can sense that? Yes. It's as clear as day. If you could get your, if you could get your hands on some C4, you could blast through the wall. Head for the armory, Snake. To the west, right? Got it. Stop saying right. Stop saying directions and then saying right, Snake. That just confuses the issue. Snake, even if you select return in the mission from the system menu, you won't be able to reset your current position. So watch it. What? Return to the control office and head for the west armory. Does that mean I need to just head for the door? Is that what he's saying? I didn't mean to crawl then. Whoops. Oh. Some of the directions in this game confuse the shit out of me. All right, let's just keep the cost down. <laughs> Stand up, Snake. Stand up. So these guys move around. This would be a good time to skip. Oh, that's right. We have to walk around this. Oh, my God. So tedious.
What ranking did we get for that? Any bonus cards? <laughs> we could <laughs> we could have gotten a way better ranking. Uh, whatever. Now off to the armory. Who'd you call? Welcome. The following is a briefing on aerial camera view. Press the triangle button during your turn to switch to aerial view. Oh, okay. Use the directional button to switch view and the analog pad to switch the focus point. You can also check a character's life and other information by bringing it to the middle of the screen. Pay attention to the enemy viewpoint indicated with the dot. The block marked for the dot is the area visible to the enemy. Ah. Stay outside that block and you will not be spotted. Use this technique wisely. I wish I knew this before. This concludes the briefing on aerial camera view. Okay. Drop a save. Is that where we want to go? Or do we want to go to the office? Well, there's a big arrow. Seems like the way to go. Okay. Ah, look at that. Bugger me. So I can see. Ah, uh, look at that. I can see their vision cones. Well, there you go. This is what I was looking for. A kind of, you know, strategy map. Okay. Well, we can see where they're looking. We can see where they're going. We don't want to worry about going up there. We just need to get out of that gate. Was that a camera? Let's see what this guy does. Oh, good boy. Thank you for moving in that direction. Very handy. Oh, your trouble though. Yep, you can see us. <laughs> all right, fine. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. That's a. That's a. Let's just restart this one real quick. Fall and faint. When any character in a stage is knocked down by an attack with a fall effect, one card in that character's hand is destroyed. If all the character's cards are destroyed, the character is get faint. Unconscious characters automatically lose their turn. After a set period of cost, the character is returned to action with a full hand of cards. The amount of cost required to revive from unconscious status varies from character to character. This concludes the briefing on Fall and Faint. Great. Good to know. All right, let's try that again. Is there any hidden cards there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's use this straight away. Let's do be a bit more stealthy this time, hey? That should be better for their vision cone. Oh no. Fucking hell. <laughs> This game is rigged. Okay, we've got three moves, so we can go here. Ah, oh, shit, a brick.
Okay, that should give them less to do because... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, are they shutting the fucking gate? Fuck me dead. Bad of this, man. Going out shooting, I'm going out shooting. I mean, I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to kill all these dudes to cancel the alert and walk through that gate. Oh, they're at the top. Okay. All you have to do is get to the train, CJ. Oh dear. <laughs> like they had overlapping vision cones. So it's, I'm not I'm tr struggling to see a way through you know Okay, we're dead. <laughs> oh. Pollock is a briefing on damage direction. The damage done by an attack depends not only on the attack value, but also on the direction of the attack. Attacks from behind cause 1.5 times more damage. Good to know. Whereas attacks from the side cause 1.2 times more damage. Attacks from above also cause 1.5 times more damage. These directions can be combined to increase damage. Characters standing beside fallen characters will be considered to be above them. This concludes the briefing on damage direction. They don't stay down. They don't fucking stay down. Okay. Quick mode always. Hmm. Okay. Fast attacks, thank you. All right. Let's buy more bloody cards. Oh, another SOCOM. Yes. Yes, another SOCOM. Thank you. Get in my deck immediately. Where are these bloody... Like, I don't understand how to use these claymores. They are hopeless. Can be picked up by crawling. Yeah. The M18 anti-personnel directional mine. When the blasting fuse ignites, the force of the explosion sends a barrage of ball bearings flying forward. The mine's major defect, however, is that there is also a danger zone to the rear. I don't need it. I think, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> it's probably the fact that I used it while there was a guy there that set it off. Or maybe we just need to be in crawl mode. Okay. So he can see all there. He can see all that. So I almost need to wait them out a bit. Nope. 
Get down. Oh. Right. There's a mine there. There you go. Yeah, that guy hasn't moved. We've lost 120 life. Okay. Good to know. Okay, he'll see us. Yep. Yep. But the other guy can't see us if we move now. So move, go here, stand. Use the SOCOM. Come on, kill him, kill him. Ah, uh, not quite. Yeah, now that guy will move. He just gets, it just, they just. They don't have set fucking things. They just. I guess it's not cheating. I guess if you walk in front of someone, you should know better. But. There goes the gate. There must be a way to still throw it. I mean, maybe I need to get the soak on and like, and just get lucky with my draws. We're not gonna live long. Not after walking on a mine. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to die. How's that death counter going? I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad. Let's use that immediately. I bet you there'll be mines behind the boxes. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, can't flatten myself against the boxes, but hey. Oh my god! Oh my god. Following some briefing on status effects. Characters may suffer status effects as a result of enemy attacks. Sleep will cause the character to be paralyzed for a set cost. Out of action will cause the character to be paralyzed for 30 cost, and they'll then be rehabilitated with 10 life. Bleeding will cause 5 damage per cost, up to a maximum of 50. Damage will be calculated on the character's turn. Burn causes 10 damage per cost and disappears after 10 blocks. Any character coming into contact with burn will suffer its effects. This concludes the briefing on status effects. Okay. I know what to do on this map now. We need to crawl a lot. Okay, so. 
move on this tile. Look that way, crawl. Right, right. Uh... Okay. He's moving. That's good. If there's no mines in our path, we can try and run past him. Oh, that's even better. He is definitely going to turn around, though. God, please let me move far enough. Cannot move far enough. Oh my god. Don't look at me, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me, please. Oh, he's coming around the back. Okay. Okay, there was no mine behind, was it? So we can use something like this to move here. Yeah. Facing that way. Oh, he can see us. That's okay. That's okay. Yep, he's going to go call for help. Good timing. No, 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 move, move, move. That's what I'm looking for. Go crawl. Let me move again. Okay. There we go, remove Claymore. Ah, shit. Oh, nice. Thank you, buddy. Right, well, that shows me where the one Claymore was. Awesome. So that guy is actively looking for us. We need to take this guy out and try and wait out the the alert. Like the hope is that those guys take too long to get down to me and then I can the alert expires before they get down there my cost is getting up there but hey hopefully we can just kill him bonus damage from the side Shit. Snake. That guard needs to go. Oh, they can't get across to me. Maybe, surely. Right. 
Right, shoot him from behind. This should be it, surely. Sweet. He's dead. No more guards can get here. Yeah, you can't get there. Okay, cool. That's a non-stealth method, but it's a method. The only problem is we have to watch these guys every turn now. My God, being too excited. Now we just need to wait for the evasion to time out. Gate opens. Oh, you have to wait for the animation to finish. There we go. God, complicated game this. Speedy, rank B, there you go. No cards, give me a bonus card though. More movement, why not? Welcome. Press the select button during a mission. Display the hand, cost, and turn order for each character. Turn order is particularly important as it changes when cards are used. Pay close attention to this information as you proceed. This concludes your briefing. Speaking of, let's get something expensive out. God, that's so expensive. <laughs> so expensive. Uh, where are they? Another, yep. Ah. Oh. I don't have any friggin' allies. Okay, we're gonna only have four. Okay. Sure. Rear evade level one. Evade attacks from the rear, reaction 50%. Okay, that all sounds actually kind of handy. Sorry to save so often, but yeah, why not? Oh my God, this has been so hard just to get some C4. It's been a long night. Roger, I made it to the armory. You know, C4 isn't the only thing you find of use in there, Snake. How do you know? Well, Alice said that, uh, People invest a lot of sentiment in weapons. Those who have made weapons, used weapons, lost their lives to weapons. Such items often contain spiritual residues, which you can view with your special powers. Ah, so it's starting to make sense to you. Roger, is it stated in fine print somewhere that we have to trust Miss... <laughs> we have to trust little Miss Tarot card here? Say... Alice, where are you going? Alice! <sighs> Snake, both the FBI and CIA have treated her as a guest of honor, and I received a detailed statement explaining her qualifications in advance. Maybe you need to grow up a little. <laughs> Since when does a grown-up put his life in the hands of a child? I'll deal with Alice. You need to get into that armory and find the C4. I know you can do it. Right. Get the C4. Okay, what can we see? The guard facing that way. Guard facing that way. Guard facing that way. Oh my gosh, this is such a Metal Gear armory. Okay. 
So we need to be aware. Oh, thank you for showing me where the camera can see. Um, there's a camera there. Oh my God, there's places everywhere. So the C4 may not even be on the floor. I'm not getting through that door though. We do not have any key cards so far. So our best bet, can we crawl through those vents? Are those crawl points? Not sure, but maybe our best bet would be to perhaps get here with a SOCOM and take out the camera. Or, yeah, actually this is our best bet. <laughs> okay. Don't see any card packs anywhere. Nope. Go. So the issue with this guy is if he turns around, he'll see us all day. Let's go here and let's crawl. Maybe that'll help us. Okay, that's a good start. Don't turn around though, buddy. Okay, he's kind of messing with my plan. So can I move through that gap now? No, I can't. Shit. Okay. Gotta work my way around. Okay. Don't think you can climb on boxes or anything either, so we shall see. Time will tell. Hey, Sir McDonald, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Where's that guard? Oh, yes, he's right there. We're in mission five now. Well, I'm struggling. I'm in struggle town. I'm very not good at this game. <laughs> I'll be honest. Really struggling. <laughs> Oh, it's bit. Oh, good. That's good to hear. Thank you. We, um... Last week I only got to mission two and I failed at it really hard. So we've beaten mission two. But then mission three had a gimmick to it that I did not expect. You had to go stand in a certain spot for the game to tell you that you can't beat mission three yet. He's got armor. Oh, bugger. Now he's dead. Good. So we're uh, we're putting all, all thoughts of no kills out the window. We're just killing guards whenever we can. This makes life so much easier. <laughs> And so, yes, so mission three, there was a wall in our way, which turns out we need C4 to blow up. Our grenades did nothing. And now we're in the armory looking for that C4, so that's where we're at. Let me give you a quick shout out while we're here. Sam McDonald's been, well, he might be pausing the uh, death list for Modern Warfare 2, yeah? You're sounding very hyped about it. 
hang on. All right, I want to end the sand. What do we got? We got a level one door. We can't do much about level one doors at the moment. There's a couple of doors down here though that we can open. That's where we're heading. like a good place to stop. We'll hang on to that SOCOM and we'll use it to take out the camera hopefully. Yeah, this one's a bit, uh, this one's non-canon for starters. It is a... Okay. Uh, it's on the PSP, which might be part of the reason why you haven't heard of it. Um, it is non-canon. It is not not a Kojima game. Let's take him out and the camera. How about that? Did that not damage the camera? Okay, it did. Let's punch this guy. Damage minus 80. Good lord. Die. Die. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Kojima was not directly involved. So it's a yeah, non-canon one as far as I know. So what we might do, what's a good thing to do here? Could crawl into a vent for a while. Oh, so we, we want to use that card. Reduce our cost. Put those cost points down. Okay, okay, we know Meryl. Okay, here comes trouble. So let's... Get in the hole. We should be invisible here, I'm hoping. Burn a few turns, which costs us some cost. do is we'll go here and stand up because we'll still be they still can't see us but once that alert that alert should end this turn now there we go how's our health our health is fine Use our turn to actually equip some stuff. Then move. Use that to flatten against the wall. And hopefully, that should be enough. Ooh. Hmm. Three seconds means we've got one more turn to get through. Costs are so high, I've got to get that down. Okay, he's heading off. Caution mode. We should be alright. Ah. The nice, relaxing, you're not getting hunted by guys with guns music. Okay, so he's facing that way. He can see all of those yellow dots. Let us end the turn there. There's a lot of ending turns here. Oh, he didn't move. God damn it. Uh, what's the cheapest we got here? 
I want to get into that little little gap there. Ah, I can't flatten there. Okay. Interesting. Oh, is that an alarm system? Oh my god. I just tripped an alarm by standing there. They can make these things clearer. Have I got any guns? Okay, we've got SOCOM. Oh, why didn't I shoot the barrel? Should have shot the barrel. Aha! Look at my matrix moves. Oh, so much for those matrix moves. I'd rather, well, I guess we can't use front of A with the other guy because he's behind us. Okay. Let's use this. Go OK. Shoot the barrel. There we go. What? Did that not damage him at all? Oh, oh well, at least we can walk behind him and give him an extra damage punch. Yeah, it's a turn-based card game type thing. So, you can get funky in that regard. You gotta think ahead and plan ahead and all this other stuff, all this stuff that I'm not good at. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move. Base this way. Stay and use our famous to shoot the barrel. There we go. That does expose our back to this guy, but there's a little pillar there. Maybe that'll be good enough. It's definitely set up to be... It's definitely set up, set up to be you try and try again type thing. But now we've got... And we've also got Cyborg Ninja to kill people. Hurt me more. Okay. There's still a camera there, but we'll just take care of that. Cameras don't have any bloody armor, I hope. There we go. That alert should hopefully start ticking down. Okay. Move. Hope there's no. Hope there's no mines in this room. Okay. Oh, ration! Thank God. <laughs> Absolutely need that one. everybody that's why the uh, evasion nothing else is happening uh, let's move okay there's a card pack there but there's where's the bloody c4 
Okay. More action. All right, we're going upstairs. We're going upstairs. Snake, are there stairs in there leading up? Yeah. According to Alice, C4 is stored somewhere on the second floor. Is it? She didn't mention that before. She's <laughs> she stormed out again after telling me that. This girl is starting to get difficult. Maybe you two should stop giving her grief. Give her a lollipop and maybe she'll settle down. Let's take those stairs to the second floor. Oh god, I have to use another card to bloody do that? Okay, what have we got on the second floor? We got... Is that a gun camera? Oh god, it is too. Yes, we've got gun cameras now. We've got robots and gun cameras. Gun cameras. Robots, gun cameras. Okay. So, right. I wish I hadn't used my SOCOM. Call someone about it, Snake. You know you want to. There it is. <laughs> Gun cameras are mounted on the walls. They've been programmed to detect anyone that triggers their motion sensors. If they make things difficult for you, disable them while the lamp is green. Also, be careful of infrared sensors. Pass one and danger mode will be activated. Uh, I've seen them around. Okay. And this this is this is almost the worst part. Because it stopped me to have a friggin' chat in this turn-based, card-based, everything costs game. It stopped me before I went to where I wanted to get. So it actually cost me a turn. Oh god. Okay. One gun turret down. Now, there's a couple of card packs here, but we'd have to shoot gun turrets to get them. So let's just see what's in this room here. Oh my gosh. I've got to watch for these robots. Oh, good. Anytime we get a SOCOM back in the in the deck, we're looking around. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, okay. It just opens. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. Oh, okay. Didn't quite get so lucky as the first room we went in. Oh, there's an invisible MGS1 pack there. Okay. Oh, is this the only... Hang on. Map mode. Okay, I think... Okay, so there's... This is the only room we can access? Oh, no, there's one more. Okay. Okay, that's probably where we need to go. I just want to take out that... Take out that gun. Yeah, he can see us. Okay.
And you have to finish your turn facing the way you want to attack, so otherwise we'll just say there's no target. Now let's move so the robot can't see us. What? Did we not take it out? Oh my god. That sucks so hard. Did he miss so much that it fucking... Oh my god. This game sucks. <laughs> it's really bad. Like, we couldn't even see the status of what was going on then. Oh, there's another one. Jesus Christ. Hang on. Okay. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. <laughs> It's how I feel. <laughs> okay, can't flatten. Do I have to just walk into its path to get it or something? Oh, I don't understand. I'm going to get shot. <laughs> Can I use that here? Oh, I can, okay. Okay, that gun turret's down. Oh, why does everything cost so much to do? Reduce our cost in the turn. Here's the trick. We're going to get shot by that gun turret again when we leave. <laughs> All right, we got it. Looks like you got your hands on some C4. You can use that to destroy the wall. Get the hell out of there. Looks like the only way out is where you came in. Get back to the hall, Snake. Get out of the armory. Mission change. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lacrovis. I saw your message before. If you're lurking. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, let's use that. Yep. Because we're going to get shot. we got no way to not get shot. Yeah, we got no way to not get shot. We're just going to die. I think we're dead. Unless his range doesn't get that far. Ooh, okay. Okay, hopefully we can just walk on out of here now that we've since we killed everybody on the other floor. see of these level one and level two doors it's like you're going to get level one and level two car keys way later and they want you to replay missions it's like no don't do that to me ah oh, why couldn't it just have ended the mission god to make you walk out
<laughs> God, yes. Have I mentioned I'm not very good at strategy games? Probably worth mentioning. The door's right there. Let me leave. You've proven your infiltration skills. There is no mission you can't complete, except all those ones you failed. Oh, D rank. Okay, so we got. Oh, oh chaff grenade is new. Detonates five cost after use. Renders electronic devices inoperative for 30 cost after detonation. Detonates upon hit by gunshot, so you can chuck it and shoot it. An electronic jamming grenade. Scatters tiny metal fragments into the air, rendering electronic devices inoperative for a limited time. Oh, we got Naomi. After use, heals 10 life for every five cost, up to a maximum of 200. Oh, awesome. That's actually really good. A member of Foxhound's medical staff on loan from ATGC oversees the gene therapy and enhancement of Foxhound soldiers. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Why is that her quote? <laughs> she said so many other things. There we go. The C4. All right. So we're going back to mission three, I guess. Oh, no, we're going to talk about it first. Looks like you made it out in one piece. Head for the wall, blocking off the residential quarters. Once you blast through that wall, go find Fleming on the other side. Getting in touch with him should give us an idea of where Pythagoras is located. Looks like you'll be up on that mountaintop, taking in those breathtaking views much quicker than expected. If we can trust Gary, that is. There's something about that guy I just don't like. We're all very fortunate you ran to Gary, but... We'll find out if he's been telling the truth once you get to the residential quarters. Proceed with caution. Right. Okay, I'm going to leave you with the intermission screen for just a few moments. I'll be right back. We're back. Headphones, good start. 
in the jumper. It's getting a bit, bit fresh in here. All right, can we just jump back to? Can we just teleport to the ruins. Thank you for welcoming me back. So yeah, in this mission. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't. <laughs> the C4 isn't included in your deck, Snake. Cards must be put into the deck in order to use them. Don't forget, mission failed. Thanks, Roger. I'll keep that in mind. God, my snake impression is awful. I'm sorry. All right, we should put the C4 in our deck. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. C4 in. Uh, let's put Naomi. Let's get rid of Otacon. Put in Naomi. For whatever reason, even though we read them on the intermission screen, these are marked as new until we look at them here. Uh, we've got 31 cards. What else should we get rid of? That Endure is very expensive. We need the C4, so we've got that. Chaff Grenade. Oh, we got heaps of front evades. Let's get rid of one of those. There we go. All right. Exciting deck management. Even though the wall has been repaired, it could take a good four weeks for the cement to fully harden. The area repaired is still pliable enough for a little C4 to make its mark. C4 can be detonated by shooting, as well as with a detonator or a timer. Got it? Not really. Right. So yeah, so Sir McDonald before, uh, when we did this mission, I walked to about here, and we got a call saying, oh, it's all blocked. What's going on? And that was about it. What needed to happen was you actually had to walk to this specific space. Then you get another call about the C4. And it's like, get out of here. Also, there's lots of guards around. And the camera is very bad in this mission. <laughs> On the plus side, because we've done this mission before, we know that we can go here for a bit of a sneaky route. Okay. I think the camera is going to see us no matter what we do. But at least this way we won't have guards all up our butts. Yeah, it's not... It's not what I'm really looking for in a Metal Gear game. I'm not looking for card-based strategy. I'm looking for stealth gameplay, ah, wacky cutscenes, all that fun stuff. And like when you get into MGS four, like. It's got awesome gunplay. It's got CQC. Peace Walker has strategy, but it's in-person strategy, if that's one way to say it. Oh, why didn't I stand up? Why didn't I stand, didn't I stand up? See, no target. I'm not facing the correct way. Uh, uh, what am I going to do? Could I use this now? Yes, all right, chaff grenade. Oh, he heard the chaff grenade, of course he did. All right, I don't have my C4, give me the C4. Let's go here and stand, and hopefully it just automatically gives me the C4. Otherwise, this game is real dumb. 
<laughs> adults in the year 2022 we already don't have thinking of strategy in real life absolutely gotta plan how i get out of bed in the morning that's 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 enough not nah, no c4 okay let's move no 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 let's just move here face this way day use the socom on the camera that's our turn this map is so bad like you can't see what's going on all the time where's the c4 Okay. Let's use something to move next to this guy. And because he's facing the wall, we get bonus damage. He should be dead. All right, good work. Guard dead, camera down. Oh my god, where's the C4? Unless they want us to discard. Uh, let's do that, baby. Don't need you yet, Cyborg Ninja. Don't need you yet. Okay. Still no C4. <laughs> Use Meryl just to get the card out of the way. Come on, give me that C4. He can't see us. I don't know why. Oh my god. This game <laughs> There it is. Okay, the C4 is finally in our deck. He can see us. Bloody hell. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could see us or not. Okay. C4. Use. Okay. Put it there. Let's move away from here. Okay. If we go here, we can see it, which means we can shoot it. God, this mission. Yeah, it sounds like we were going to get spotted, no matter what there. Like, the alert was going to go off no matter what you do. Here they come. talk about it first it worked i managed to blast through the wall well done snake just like a pro okay time to put the clock back right what, what does that mean head for the residential quarters okay okay let's have a look these guys are facing the wrong way Oh no, he's not. Okay. Okay, if we take a very specific route, which I guess this game lets us do. I'm gonna move one more time. This guy will just immediately spot us anyway, despite our attempts at stealth. Oh, no, he's gone the wrong way. Nice. Let's go get that card. Oh, 
Oh, they might spot us from down there. Oh no, where's he going? <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? If we get low, they can't see us. I'm wasting these extra turns, but I'm keeping my cost down. Or trying to, anyway. Because my cost affects how much they move. I figured that out now. I'm getting smarter all the time. Um... think I can attack him from here. Yeah, no target. You can ta attack from above, but yeah, no target, unfortunately. Is there a ladder here? Oh, the camera sucks so bad. Okay, no, there's not. So hang on. Okay, let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. Strategy session. If we go across all this way, ah, oh, there's a robot in our way. That's no good. I don't know how to take those guys out yet. And there's a rocket launcher down there, though. If we go down the stairs right now, we will get spotted. Is that what this is saying? I can't tell. I can't see under the stairs. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Oh, yes, we will definitely get spotted. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll shoot the camera while we're at it. God's sake. <laughs> you could hit the broad side of a barn. Okay, end the turn. Hope this guy doesn't see us. Ah, oh, I could use that ladder. Oh, well. Oh, he's facing away from us. That's good. And he's walking away from us. Even better. Stealth mission's back on. I wonder if the uh, chaff grenades... affect the robots. Okay, we're going to get that rocket launcher. And all we're doing is trying to get to the gate. If we get spotted, the gate won't... If there's an alert, if there's an active alert, the gate won't open. Is that a camera? Yes, it is. Okay. So if we try and work around that guy, we should be all right. Uh, actually, let's not end our turn just yet. Let's use Meryl. They're turned down. There's that bloody C4 again. Nice. First Metal Gear Solid 2 weapon. Double check his vision cone. I think we're going to be okay. Depending on what he does this turn. Oh, he looked immediately at us. <laughs> Don't tell me there is a tiny... Yes, there is. Okay. There's a small... There's a small wall in our way, which will stop us from going straight that way. So this guy's going to die. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. Robot saw us somehow. Fantastic. This 
happened in mission four as well. Just had to kill everybody. Just. I'm not going to get hit by a grenade, mate. Get about that right now. I didn't even get hit by his own grenade. Just my luck. Put that there. Then run away. We just leave? Yes, we can. Yes. <laughs> Rack it up those good results, those good scores. Uh, we've got some Metal Gear Solid one cards. All right, Sniper Wolf, that's a new one. All right, we'll look at these in the deck builder. Hmm, look on the machines only. Come in, Snake. This is Roger. What is it? New info has come in from headquarters. Investigators have confirmed that Pythagoras is the name of a research project being conducted at Libito Physics and Chemistry Lab Laboratory. Oh my god, can't talk. Our mission is to find out about, about bleh, bleh. Our mission is to find out more about this Pythagoras research and Fleming, the man behind it. Another fact has been confirmed regarding Fleming's research. He was conducting drug-related tests in production in this lab. Drugs? Ah, combat enhancers. No, something much more vile. Candidates from various countries were sought and used for clinical testing. The candidates signed an agreement, basically an acknowledgement of the life-threatening dangers involved in the testing they were, take, they were to take part in. Perhaps a large sum of money is what persuaded them to endure such horrors. Life-threatening dangers? All sorts of viruses were shot into the test subjects in order to monitor the effects of a new drug. I get it. He must have chosen this remote island as a way to cover up what he was researching. But what about Beagle, the sponsor of this lab? What the hell is it? What was going down in here? <laughs> Let's focus on the mission at hand for now. Get a hold of Fleming and things should become clear. You should head for the residential quarters now. I'll continue probing for details on Fleming's whereabouts. Right. Looks like she woke up. Who? The kid in the back. Hmm, that's ominous. Hi there. What's your name? Uh, I, uh... Yes? I'm... Um, my name's Minette. Minette? Uh-huh. Minette Donald. You all by yourself? Well, I'm going to see my daddy. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? <laughs> well, mommy really hates daddy now, so she didn't come. Oh, I see. Are you scared to ride on a plane all by yourself? Nope, I'm used to it. You're pretty brave, kiddo. Come on, why am I talking about that for Lena? I'm used to riding on planes, too. But this is a first for me. Mr. Hatch. I didn't mean to startle you. It's just that they keep pumping these damn drugs into me. My body and mind are both going nuts. <laughs> It's awful. Something awful has happened. Help, sis. I'm scared. What should I do? The, the 
do with this lady in the back? She, she's all bloody. She was killed. There's a bloodthirsty killer on this plane, sis. You killed her, huh? How come you found out so easy? That's no fun. Did you do as I said? Yeah, I carved a leaven on her forehead with a knife. Just like you told me to. Hmm. Am I a good girl? Uh-huh. You're a real good girl. Creepy as fuck. It's me. No, it's no use. Both Leader and I could only move our fingertips. Even putting these earphones on was like pulling teeth. It's those damn drugs. They've paralyzed us. But I told you I can't move a muscle. Who are you talking to? Even if I could, you think I'd really give a damn about the other passengers? What? The bomb? So, Emilio is already on the move, is he? That's kind of fine. Ask Emilio how things are going at the lab. Never mind that now. What about the bomb? But if you know what falls into the wrong hands, everything could go public. And I know, I know, damn it. Why did this have to happen? We can't let that monster live now, can we? Yeah, the art's great. Like, the character art's really good. Huh? Who the hell is that? Solid snake. Solid who? <laughs> Oh, aha, uh -huh. I see. So there's also, so that's also a viable option. But can we really trust Emilio to that extent? I heard he's been saying and doing some pretty disturbing things lately, going against the agreement made between him and the organization. What's that? You got a clairvoyant in there? All right then, help us. Only one of us can move. She's a child. All right, connect me to him. Very one-sided conversation. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy over there thinks he can solve everything. He's deluding himself. <laughs> deluding himself? What does that mean? Is it more fun than killing people? Elsie, sometimes you can be so... Well, there's nothing to do in here. No killing for a little while, okay? Boring. I want to go home. They're so edgy, these dolls. Oh my god, this cutscene will not end. I'm Alice Hazel. Um, I'm Minette. Minette Donald. Minette, I have a favor to ask you. I don't feel good. But you can move, right? Don't be selfish now. Oh god. Ah, Chalice, the fate of all on board rests in your hands. You're their only hope. Listen, okay, now, there's a bomb somewhere on the plane, and I want you, a small child, to defuse it. If you can find it, then everyone might be saved. Really? Really. It's a race against time. Look around and do exactly as I say, okay? Mm hmm. Are you listening to me? I said yes, okay. Ugh. This is why I can't handle kids. <laughs> oh, it just keeps going. Okay, then. Guess I don't have a choice. I was going to save this for later, but since you're so bored, I guess we'll have to make a little change in plans. What is it? Come on, sis. Tell me. Something fun? Fun is too small a word for it. And I'm the only one who knows how to do it. Right. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. That is just about three solid hours of Metal Gear Acid. Oh, that might do me, I think. I'm getting a bit easily frustrated with the game, which is unfortunate. Um, that's all right. We'll do a raid. We'll take our raid somewhere. 
Who's on? Who's on? Let's have a look. Who's on? Okay, let me just have a quick look. I sound like Hoggle from the Labyrinth. Thank you, Funshine. <laughs> Let's go, let's go see what Spider Cook is doing. She's playing Mystery of the Druids, which is a game I can't say I'm familiar with. So let's raid over that way. So thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be back next week with more of this bloody game. And we'll be back on Wednesday with more Fantasy Star 4. Thanks, those, for joining in. Um, wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good afternoon, good evening. I'll catch you next time.